So during that time, I was working on e-commerce, which was great. We basically built and launched a bunch of e-commerce websites. That was a great learning experience. Got to meet Emmanuel Glenny and Jeff Shiner, who were two of my colleagues and, and learned a lot from them and a few other folks that work at Genome Oncology now. It was a great environment for learning. That's when Manuel started Genome Oncology. I saw it as a, a great opportunity to do the next thing, to learn something new. E-commerce had been a f fun ride, but it was coming to an end. And you could see that Shopify or some of these other online platforms are going to take over and, and run with it from there. It seems like you intentionally made the decision to follow the hard problem over and over again. Yeah, I think that's where I felt like I could make a differentiated impact. So the main thing you're try trying to do when you're starting your career is figure out how to build career capital. So there's a great book called uh, So Good They Can't Ignore You by Cal Newport. There's a book called Smart and Gets Things Done by Joel Spolsky. It's great to be smart and it's great to get things done. But if you can do both of those things, you can be a differentiated value for your employer. And that's really the best way to get started at, in your career. Just look for hard problems, look for things that aren't getting done and just do them. Don't necessarily even have to be asked to do it. Yep. Make your boss's life easier and people will recognize you and you'll differentiate yourself from 95% of the people real, real quickly. 